I swear, if there was a school bus car, I was like, no, no more school bus. If Mal is out of the picture, I swear to God, show. <laughs> yep, she's gonna learn a thing or two here. Hey! What up, y'all? It's the Normies coming at you with a little bit of Young Justice, season four, episode 18, Beyond the Master's Grip. Beyond the Gaping Grip. Beyond the... Pull up the title so I can see it. Oh, there. I thought that was it. <laughs> Beyond the Grip of the Gods. <laughs> Beyond the Godly Grip. Uh, this is this is Navigator. Oh, it is your boy, Surge Protector. Just Pat. Marqueta, this is your last sit down for Young Justice. Indeed. Not the last episode. We're going to do a couple more after this. But... I was trying to get her to go into labor. It, did it work? No. Okay. How come you guys didn't name your baby Kendall? All right. Well, well guys, let's, yep. let's begin this. Here we are. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Navi's gone forever. She's in Europe. She's in the godly grip. Okay. Aw. Stop! That's not how it is. Aw. This is the kid that... Come on, we got to go. She changed the Wait. DNA around, remember? I yeah. think so. I want about the white people. It's time to go see Daddy. We'll hatch! It's August, you don't need a hat. He's up to state. All right, get up, but you're going to be so sweaty. I swear, if there was a school bus car, I was like, no, no more school bus. Sorry, baby, I couldn't find it, but daddy can get you. Uh, if it makes him feel comfortable. Okay. I've actually never eaten one of these in my entire life. No, I'm I think I've had it one time. Spinal. It's like, all right, it's just I'm a sugar spinal. cookie with different icing. 416, oh shit. You can do it, baby. Oh. <laughs> this child is very particular. This lady smells weird. Leave it. She smells bad. <laughs> Excuse me, young man. He, he's very sensitive to perfumes. He didn't mean it the way it sounded. I did mean it. I she probably it's does. It's <laughs> not for for her to smell bad. Your boy needs to learn some math. Shut the. Do not tell me what my son needs. <laughs> Like, yeah, well, you can get up. come on, lady, you could, come on, use some, like, sense. The train won't stop there today. The station's closed for construction. We always get up at 16th Avenue to go do that. Next stop, 17th Avenue. Aww. That must be so hard. Yeah. Hey, little man. What's the kid's name from Big Mouth? I left your cars out. Caleb. Caleb. You know it. <laughs> One of my favorite characters in that show. Yeah. Well, we've got Amistad's school conference next week to go over his IEP. Can we just stop with the acronyms? They just don't get him at that school. They they don't understand how intelligent he is. You know, and no one's denying he's intelligent, Raquel. But that doesn't change the fact that the specialists have diagnosed him with autism. You know, we have to face this. Sounds difficult. Get him the help he needs. Not today. I, I'm already late. Bye, my baby. I love you. I'll be home soon. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that she know. was just talking to? Her husband, ain't it? Or baby daddy. daddy. She said daddy. Mm. What are you looking for? This? Yeah. yeah I, I, thought, I thought Mal was... Mal. So I think that baby was a girl, though. So I don't know what... Uh, okay. I or maybe baby... uh, Mal's not able to be there. Where, where's Mal at? Why are you so wet? If Mal is out of the picture, I swear to God, show. <laughs> this is <a laughs> get it together. Another they are doing the thing. Black father. Like, right... <laughs> Caddy, speaking of which, I've got news. I'm going to get a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> Chris go, has left the note. If you go get a pack of cigarettes. Um, also, I feel like all kids are usually that rude in public to people. They're literally <laughs> no. not. What's wrong no, with you? I mean, rude. when you're at a certain age. No. Your first time smelling someone bad as a yeah, kid. Yeah, do you think this is his first time on the train? You're right. You're right. That's a New York subway. Is Flash ready to stretch Flash's legs for Flash's first mission as a Justice Leaguer? Yeah, it's nice being the new kid for a change. Oh, Forager can see Forager's old forest hive from here. <laughs> we are here to represent Earth at the summit. Get a treaty signed. If we... Justice League meets the new gods, meets the Green Lantern Corps. Oh, yeah. A surefire hoot. Hoot <laughs> hoot. You heard me. What? <laughs> Forager is unsure what to tell Rocket. Forager has not been to Forager's homeworld in over a year, and Forager has never been to Supertown before. Forager is unsure how useful Forager will be. Oh. Also, she's Rocket, so she's not. Oh, no, it's not. The new gods welcome the Justice League to New Genesis. Thank you. Oh, we were confusing her with yes. someone else. Yes. Damn, okay. With the, the B girl? 
Yeah, I'm a racism. I'm sorry, guys. I went along with it. I suck too. You are also a racism. Thank you. I am not. Because <laughs> <laughs> B can shrink down. Yeah. And she can do stuff, and I just listen to Surge being confidently wrong. Ha ha! Now I'm throwing you under the bus with what other people say. In my defense, they are. They look very. Similar. What the very fuck? Similar. No, she's got Afro puffs because well, she's B. When they're in outfits. Oh yeah, she does have the puffs. Uh, I do want to give a shout outs to the, she got like the gambit thing going on where it's like the half yeah, the face deal. Yeah. I don't know why I like that, but I do. That's a cool look. Well, not everyone can pull it off, but. Also, we thought that new god was a uh, peacemaker, but he is not, unfortunately. Yeah, that's who we thought it was. Welcome, honored guests. It looks like him, doesn't Solis, it? Called I thought he had on Sully Peacemaker. Allow helmet. me to introduce High oh. Father Iyaza the Inheritor. Okay. High Mother Avia, the Wisdom Bringer. Avia. And their son. Orion, dog of war. Dog, dog of war. Do dog you got the dog in him. God oh. backwards. He's the military dogs. He's the dog of raw. Oh God. What brings you today, Antinous? Another delivery of drained crystals, Captain Celestia. Drained. Holy names, Batman. Answer. Drained crystals. She's Celestia. Come on, bro. Keep up. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, but he's about to blow something up. I don't trust him. Mm -hmm. Dogs no, that ass. looks exactly like the box that exploded for Superman. Be Superboy. Honored to meet High Father. Welcome to Supertown. <laughs> the first bug to be so welcomed and um, high time too. Oh, y'all races against bugs. They got the bad bug in here. Mm. E. <laughs> I love. Forager. That's not Forager. Is it not? Don't be racist. No, oh. they look nothing like that. You're racist now. <laughs> He's purple. I, yeah. Well, I thought it's just the lightning in the room that makes him look purple. This is unknown technology. It should be confiscated for study. You're going to want to rethink that policy. <laughs> My son, Rocket is our honored guest. <sighs> Fine. I do think this is a weird three people to send here for this summit. Yeah. <laughs> like Rocket, Jake, Eric, and Forager? Maybe they're right. Well, Forager makes sense. Forager makes the most amount of yeah. sense. Yeah. Damn! She's got ball rolled. A thief has broken into our secured warehouse. On the day of your arrival. Oh my god. Apocalypse. Armageddon. Of course. August 26th. That's uh, three days before. Oh, you got humans that live here? What kind of shit? We outnumber the new gods on Apocalypse a thousand to one. If we all rose up together, we could even overthrow Darkseid. Oh, don't you say it, Dragon. You'll get us all killed. Or worse, re-educated and get out of my bath. Damn. <laughs> That's Damn, so nice. They look run down. It's simple math. No one ever taught me math before now. Well, there's two of us. Come with me. There are others you should meet. I can help. It'll give you a chance to see my unknown technology in action. <laughs> help would be appreciated. Boom tube me. Tube my boom. He's basically on a segue. Yeah, he is. Space segue. Oh. Ooh. Impressive. To time one's descent with Supertown's trajectory and speed in order to drop into the lake below required calculation worthy of Mother Box. What? The environment has been charged with radion particles. Mother Box cannot track the thief. Then we'll take the direct approach. This is this is weird. Oh, say, homie, you can't hold your breath? You afraid of water? Let me out. He, he's, Let me he's out. like her son. No. Oh. Yep, yeah, she's gonna learn a thing or two here. You alright? Fine. Maybe he's claustrophobic. I'm fine. <sighs> Great. Cause the thief got away. Rocket, you got some learning to do. Come on, McGregor. Meanwhile, in Phantom Zone. Connor Roy! <laughs> he's in the Phantom Zone! <laughs> Oh, maybe. <laughs> maybe I'm just yeah, maybe kidding. it makes a lot of sense. I don't know what it means. Nah, the Phantom Zone. They're just like, ah. who are you? A clone made from the DNA of the Superman to replace Superman should he perish, to destroy him should he turn from the light. Very good. Thank you, Father. 
a capable female. Oh. Ooh. She's Why is a bug privy to this meeting? This is not the bug that committed the crime, and this bug may be able to help us catch that bug. I don't like how they say bug. A radion powered ruction cell. It's both obsolete and dangerous. Does the other bug know that? I must retrieve this cell before someone gets hurt. Notice the bug's markings. This bug is of the mountain hive. I thought he might be useful. We can all be useful. He sounds like you. I do make those noises. I, I like Dog of War. Oh god, <laughs> what the hell dog is that? Dog of War is cool. Uh, Why are Pro oh, Demons right. here? Because they're on Apocalypse. Uh Oh yeah, this is a box. Another rebel against Lord Darkseid. Wow, you are the worst. But you were susceptible. You are the worst. You're the fit. Are you kidding me? Damn. What a Malafa. Malafa. Ak. Yeah. Malafa. Traitor, you've arrested. My father is pleased. That's entrapment. That is entrapment. Your father is your father. That's fucked up. If Hive can harness this device, Hive can bring power to entire mountain. Warning! New gods approach the Hive! Stay here. <laughs> Voyager trust Larvae will keep this great prize safe. <laughs> Little peepers. <laughs> I could check all those tunnels pretty quick. Not Barry Allen quick, but still. Barry Allen does not translate. High yeah. Father has a rule against entering bug hives without permission. Makes sense. A wise rule indeed. Orion has come to retrieve the ruction cells stolen from the new god. They all talk very. Bugs know not of any ruction cell. That's a lie. Ruction but it's cool. What is a ruction cell? Now you're trying too hard. Bugs. These little bugs are so no. cute. No. We know one of this hives. No. Man, I hate you, Malafak. What is the Malafak? What a Malafaker. How can new gods know that a forager of the mountain hive stole the new gods' important cell? Hello. The forager is forager. Forager is also forager. Susie Carmichael. Yeah, it sounds like her. Or a lifeline from Apex. Got the lifeline package for you. Yet Forager's friend, Rocket, speaks the truth about the ruction cell, but if cell explodes, Forager will have no hive. Our father has a rule against entering bug hives without permission, but an exception can be made to protect life. Let's go. Forager will bring new gods to the cell. What just bring the cell out? Forager will not. But Forager will. No, this isn't gonna get confusing. <laughs> and I'm an old guy. <laughs> so Forager is his name and position, but mostly position. So y'all just got these little chippies around carrying a bomb. It's Superman. Is that uh what's his name? Connaboy. Always good to see our new Superman doing the occasional rescue. Toy Man's just doing us a small favor. We need to save our boy for more important tasks. As when he dispatched that untrustworthy vigilante. What? This is what Lex wanted him to do. But you've yet to reach your full potential. You know what you must do. No, father. Kill She's Superman. slowing you down, son. No. To survive, you must shed useless attachments. Time to let her go. No! They're the heart of the show, no. Many larvae could have taken any one. Making larvae. Well, let Flash go! Hard to predict. I'll run a search pattern. Good idea. I'll fly one. Around Forest Hive, larvae favor common larvae trails. Where would mountain larvae go? Follow Forager. Y'all can't move faster than that? That's oh my god. Complete one final task for your dread lord. Of course. And you shall be granted your boon. Is it an epic boon or is it a rare boon? Epic boon. I assume you observe. Show yourself. It's a buff bug. Oh! Darkseid instructs both Mantis and Ma'ala Fa'ak to follow this one's orders as if they were Darkseid's own. Killmonger's nephew Daughter? out here? Daughter? No. I know Mantis. Who are you? I am Lore. Lore? Lore Zod. Is he a son? Who the hell is Z Lore Zod? Not, not, not Lore Zod. Zod. Not Zod Zod, right? Lore Zod. Like a different type of Zod. What did Larva do? Larva did nothing. Larva swears. Oh my god. <laughs> Severely though, I'll be like, fucking sweet! Found him! 
this goofy gotta get his segue on. Stop what you're doing. Uh-oh, they knocked his helmet off. He's gonna be pissed. Oh! Who the fuck is that? Angry dog. It's Orion. Put his helmet back on. Get those kids to safety. Roger that. Please, he's claustrophobic. You must release him before yeah. you do irreparable damage. <laughs> Oh my god. He just had to use face ID on the box. Apologies. Oh, that sucks. I like how we're seeing a lot of like mental powers this season. The Russian cell is dormant now, but still dangerous. Hey, this guy. Over there is supposed to take it to his oh yeah. <laughs> Remember when they took his chair? <laughs> he beat his ass and took his chair for a bit. <laughs> yeah, he sure did. <laughs> I lost control again. Another inheritance from my biological father. Without your insight, we never would have found the cell in time. You both did great. Totally froze up in the clutch. Don't be so hard on yourself. Never... I gotta lead negotiations tomorrow. And I'll be negotiating with a monster. <gasps> That's what you took away from this? Monster. Yeah, he was pretty scared. It's time to shed this last burden. You evil. I just don't know. What don't you know? Talking to yourself? Who? Who? Which means you're suffering from zone sickness. Who's Phantom it? zone. We all go through it. It is. How do I know you're not a hallucination? Because we've never seen each other before. My brain can make well, that's up. That's because I'm real. Stuff. Or as real as anything gets around here. And that girl you're carrying is real. Anyone else is just the sickness talking. I am the Superboy. If you say so. <laughs> My name's Drew, by the way. Drewzod. Drewzod. Jeff. Is that it actual is Zod, Zod. Zod? The Phantom it Zone. Is yeah. The Phantom Holy Zod. God. Fuck, we didn't realize that, man. How do we not get that? It's your fault. <laughs> what is the Phantom Zone? Is that Clayface? But the recruitment committee should also consider Peacemaker, Etrigan the Demon, and the Phantom Strangers. In a real planetary crisis, Russia has more rocket reds. We also want to create cooperative plans of action with Mars. Maybe What's this for? I think the, the real question is Markovia. Mm. Damn. Oh. Uh -huh. Rene Arbor Um. Damn. I feel like an idiot. Same. I don't know what that is. So the Phantom Zone is where Superman puts all of his bad guys. Superman? Yeah. Mm hmm. So. Did you ever see the original Supermans with Christopher Reeve? She probably did, but doesn't remember them. Did you see them? Yeah. Yeah, so that's where he, yeah, Stuck Zod it. and the ah! other two, the other old. So, that kid, the fucking homie is Zod's kid. Yeah. Has I to guess be. so. Yeah. I guess so. Damn. And Zod Cause is... Because really, that's such an iconic name. We should have assumed, like, Who's is this Zod? another Zod? Uh, General Zod was put into the Phantom Zone right before uh, Krypton blew Exploded. up. Exploded. And then, not put, put there, into the Phantom Zone, He was put bet. there by a Superman's dad. Yeah. kal -El. Oh, no, uh, Jor-El. Jor-El Jor -El put Zod there, because Zod was... But inside an insurrection. Even though the world was literally about to blow up in like an hour? Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. So the only other surviving Kryptonians were Zod and like two other people. But I think yeah. it's just Zod now. He has been in there. Uh -huh. And his kid somehow. Yeah. Weird. So kid should be able to give Superman a pretty decent run for his money, honestly. Yeah. And then in the first Superman movie, Superman stops some nuclear bombs and throws them into space, but then it accidentally hits the Phantom Zone and they and, get unlocked. Yeah. And then Superman 2 happens. Can you uh, pull up what Zod looks like in the movies so that Marquette can see what some OG Superman costumes look like? Yes. Bro, General Zod. OG General Zod. Dude, this was one of my favorite movies. Oh, my God. Day. Yes. What? Oh, my God. No. Yeah, Here we go, bro. Oh just, my god. <laughs> Do you guys like German house techno? Yeah? For we are going to fight the Superman. Kneel before Zod. Dude, I, this movie is so good. I want to watch this. When he got general, care to step outside? Oh, so good. Anyway. Oh yeah, I am Zod. But like, it's weird that I just thought of 
that like as a zone for funsies and then i'm yeah. like oh phantom zone yeah which and like it's called phantoms this season yeah. why didn't we even think about that didn't even i've never seen it look like that I only we've seen only seen it, it from like, the outside we've never seen the inside of the zone here's what the phantom zone looks like why would he be <laughs> how would he end up in a phantom zone after being exploded well whatever happened it was a unique different type of explosion or the girl there is also got some kryptonian secret secretness going on so she, so she uh, was able to transport them or maybe he did it like unconsciously brought him there. No, oh, uh, like superboy Super they had like on un- like a a dormant power to send mm, people to uh, so he sent himself but the zone is like a thing it's not like it's like a technology so here goes Marlon Brando. Oh. Marlon Brando's about to send him to the Phantom Zone. Is about to send him to the Phantom Zone. Yours become an important voice in the new order. Second only to my own. Hit! I swear to you! This movie's... What made you think that I was familiar with this? This seems like the kind of movie y'all would watch seem like and check she, like you would have seen this. I don't, I don't know. Because like, this, was, this was like such a popular movie when it came out. Just show it, damn it. I just want her keep to going, see the going, goofy ass. There it is, there, there it is! is. <laughs> That's the Phantom Zone. Maybe it is what it looks like on the inside. Yeah, right. We've only ever seen. We've only ever seen it manifest in our dimension, bro. But in its own dimension, it's like a place. Okay. Gonna miss it. And boom. Whoa. And they're like, ah. Oh, oh, I'm in the Phantom Zone. I'm on the record. Oh, that's all. Phantom Zone. (laughs) The fuck. It's really good. That. It's really good. It's really good. It's from like the seventies. It's really good. Yeah. Or that one's from like the eighties, I think. Yeah. The second one. But anyway, yeah. Um, Shazad is a baddie, a but he's helping Superboy. Well, they're stuck in prison together. Once he gets out, he'll be like, <laughs> Neil. Yeah. Prime yeah. Zod. The real fun, fun fact: Richard Donner was actually going to make both the first two movies combined, but it ended up being like five hours long, so he had to oh, cut God. it between Makes one and two. But then Richard Lester oh. took over and completely changed some scenes around. And to add, Richard Pryor's in the third one. Yes, yes, he is. And then Zack Snyder decided to <laughs> make a six-hour long movie. Oh, yeah. Man. Well, no, though, actually, the Superman that Zack Snyder fourth... did had um, Michael Shannon, is that? Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. I will find him! Well, a lot of Zod. Right. Anyway, uh, good episode. I, I, we, I appreciate that Rocket is having some solid character development. Yeah, coming up because like obviously she don't. It can be tough for any parent. Like, obviously that's very challenging to mm-hmm. re raising an autistic child. And I wasn't yeah. laughing at him when those scenes were being played. I, I was more like, oh, like when a kid calls a lady smelly. I've heard. A lot of different types of kids do that as well. It's that, yeah. Obviously, this should be better raised, but sometimes kids just say mean shit. Like you know, that's just yeah, how they, they are. Don't, they don't know. Yeah, but, no, yeah. totally, mm-hmm. definitely. I just. Um, but oh. no, it was uh, very realistically done, and I appreciate the show for broaching such a intensely uncomfortable topic like that. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Mm-hmm. Like and and the fact that she's not great at it is yeah. Is, I mean, who would good. be their like, first time around? You know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah of course. It means. I mean, she she does try to accommodate him like you know she did at least pretend to do like an attempt to find the the, the hat yeah but I mean, she, um, wasn't, she was just putting on a show to get out i know of the house, exactly but yeah. exactly but i mean you know even doing that is like you acknowledging that there is there's like a special need yeah. that needs to be accommodated yeah um he does seem old enough now to where like maybe she should have known these things already but yes. i assume she's just really busy with league stuff and, yeah. and and i mean a lot of parents don't want to acknowledge that their children have issues or that they might need like extra help mm-hmm. um you know. a lot a lot Cuddy. like people don't want to hear that yeah i mean there's a lot of stigma with it but also like there is also not a lot of support in the system so if you it, you know if you have a child that's autistic the the chances of you being <sighs> able to get like um assistance from school or get like um I'm guy in the school thing is crazy too um what are they called um uh caseworkers caseworkers and like also in like um there's like smaller classes for kids yeah. with like a special ed, no, special, needs special ed teacher. Yeah. yeah, I mean the special ed is so underfunded and literally there is like in Indiana specifically there is like a huge shortage of special ed 
uh, special educators. It's a uh, yeah. Autism is such a wide spectrum of things too. Like you know, mm-hmm. like they could. Yeah, it looks like he is more like OCD type of stuff mm-hmm. when he needs things to be in a very particular way. Just comfortable. Yeah, it's just yeah. And feeling like super stasis. uncomfortable when things aren't the way. Like even when the train stop didn't stop where it's supposed yeah. to. Like expecting routine and not getting it. Yeah. Honestly, I learned a lot about it from just watching Big Mouth. Which that, is, that's right. Yeah. Which is the dumbest sentence I've ever said in my entire <laughs> life. But, but it's so true. So it's you just, when Big Mouth God, came out, I was bad. like, this is what the shit. And now it's like, we're going to teach kids about like in STIs and STDs in the school stuff school won't teach and deal with shame and depression and anxiety and autism and it's like big mouth the overstimulation wow because that's with the Caleb episode I'm thinking of is when he yeah. goes with, with looking the, for the, the backpack shop- the yeah, shopping one yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that one's really good and mm. He helps him out. I can't remember the other kid's name. Then he goes with him, the the gay kid from Big Mouth. I can't remember his name, but he goes with him and actually takes the time to uh, basically make sure he's not overly sensitized, you know, like overstimulated. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's the thing, too. I mean, uh, Chapel Roan at uh, the VMAs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The reason she was like, shut the fuck up, which was great, by the way. She totally, totally should have done that is because the red carpet is just like a nightmare for someone that can be overstimulated. Like yeah. that. I imagine, I mean, like, <laughs> even as a regular, like if you are feeling overstimulated and people are yelling at you and someone tells you to shut the fuck up, I feel like an immediate before your mouth. Before your brain processes, your mouth's already on the shut the fuck up part. Yeah. yeah. You shut the fuck up. And you're like, yeah. Guess I'm sorry. I don't know. Maybe you should have told me what was you expecting to happen. So, yeah. And but, who knows if he was talking to her or not. Regardless, it's like, yeah. I, um, I didn't like that in the end of it, uh, Rocket was like, I'm about to negotiate with the monster. It's like, that was your takeaway? Like, I mean, I, I think know. she needs to Are you not connecting the dots here? She's still, I, that's why I, was, I appreciate that she's having an arc here. Like, yeah. It, it's, uh, it, it feels like it should be obvious, especially if she's been a mother for this long. Exactly. So the yeah. kid, and like, she had the, the, the black and white cookie ready, just not the wool hat. Understandable, mm-hmm. you're a parent, no time, you know what I mean? You're so busy. Yeah. But... Yeah, saying the guy was a monster, she she should have at least but I mean, somewhat related. I, so she's in space. She's on another planet. She has superpowers. She's trying to find a bomb that bug children have. And she just saw this guy <laughs> explode, punch a bunch of kids, and then like go just insane, right? So she's like, for her, like she's not thinking about being a parent. She's thinking like a superhero. Mm-hmm. And she's like, I see this guy as being an adversary later. Like I need to clock him because I'm going to get into a fight with this dude at some point in time. And he's going to obliterate my face. Yeah. So like I I get she's there's modes you know what I mean yeah I I understand I just I I can see there's gonna be th- this is gonna be a continued story. and is his yeah. name Dog of War no his name is Orion okay aka Orion. the Dog of Dog War then who was oh okay. <laughs> we thought he was Peacemaker uh, I appreciate this season is doing a lot of introspection as far as yeah. the the mental health of people I think the show is always kind of focused on that too from the very beginning but. A lot this season with the old Shazam girl mm-hmm. uh, not taking on the helmet mm-hmm. and we'll call her Maria. Into her. I don't remember her name. <laughs> yeah. Her name was very Stephanie or something, bro. <laughs> I call her Hefany. So we're gonna jump into the next one. Yeah. If you guys want to see it, it's already up on our Patreon. We'll see you there. Bye bye. Thank you for watching another Young Justice episode. I hope you guys enjoy it just as much as we do. Can you believe it? Within the last season. I'm gonna stop this start because Hunter just can't help himself but to use everything <laughs> we wanted to give a special shout out to todd kanakshmuk joe puby mark de filippo martin Doxwell, and anthony hardy we hope to see you guys next week